Since 2016, the American people have been impatiently waiting for the first woman to grace the American dollar bill in over 100 years. And that woman is Harriet Tubman. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Jay Carrington, AKA JC, and this is why we still ain't got Auntie Harriet on that $20 bill like these white folk promised us. All right, guys, so let's start with some interesting history on American money. According to Politico.com, before Congress passed the Federal Reserve Act of 1913, that's the law that essentially led to the government being able to print money at will, there were over 7,000 versions of paper money circulating in the US. Private banks could create their own versions of money based on the state that they were created in. Here's some examples. White women knitting. In this bill from 1861, we have three white women working in a textile factory, well, knitting. Racist white men on a plantation. In this bill, created in the state of Georgia in the 1800s, we see two white men on a horse pointing to all the work that they won't have to do because slavery. Oh, and a little white baby snuggling little white rabbits. There's just really no subtlety, eh? Greek in America. This bill is an interesting one because it's titled History Instructing the Youth. So there's a seemingly Greek white woman and child laying on a stone slab pointing at the nation's capital from what I presume is Greece. This makes me ask the question, what are we teaching him? Cause it damn sure ain't geography. And last but not least, Toga George. This is my personal favorite because it features George Washington in a toga with a six pack beside Zeus. You know, it's giving CrossFit, it's giving Equinox, it's giving Katniss Everdeen in the Hunger Games, and most importantly, it's giving me the urge to go back to the gym. Go, Uncle George. Now, the very first woman to ever go on any type of money in the US was an unnamed mythical woman placed on a half cent coin in 1804, followed by the very first first lady, Martha Washington in 1886. Martha was the wife of George Washington, who, if you don't know for whatever reason, was the very first president of the United States of America. A fun fact, according to history.com, during the Revolutionary War, Martha Washington became the first ever woman to command the American military. And to date, Martha is the only woman to ever be put on paper currency in the USA. And hopefully we can change that with Auntie Harriet, but I am getting ahead of myself. Next, we have Queen Isabella of Spain. She was the first woman to go on a coin in 1893. And if you don't know, Isabella's achievements include, if we can call them that, the unification of Spain by marriage to Ferdinand II, a bloody and xenophobic war on terror that exiled the Jews and Muslims from Spain, and last but not least, the financing of Christopher Columbus's journey to America, where, as we all know, he FedEx captured Africans across the Atlantic to work for free on land that he stole from the Native Americans after murdering and torturing them in a genocide that's rivaled only by King Leopold II in Belgium. Whoa, 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 buddy. You about to get this video banned in Florida. You right, my bad. The fourth and fifth women to ever grace American currency were Susan B. Anthony and Native American woman, Sacagawea. Susan B. Anthony was one of the founders of the women's suffrage movement. This movement was created by several women, including Susan, and is directly linked to giving women, white women, the right to vote. Here we see the coin, which began circulating in 1979. And if you think Susan looks mad, you're probably right. And it's probably because she didn't have the right to vote. Here we have Shoshone First Nation legend, Sacagawea. The Lewis and Clark expedition was a journey to map out all 828,000 unexplored miles of land received in the Louisiana Purchase of 1803. Without Sacagawea's knowledge of the land and speaking several different languages of all the Indian tribes, many historians agree that this expedition would not have been possible. In honor of her, this coin circulated from 2000 to 2008. Just look at it, proud Sacagawea with her son John Baptiste and the symbol of freedom, the bald eagle soaring high above all the land that was stolen from her and members of her tribe. God bless America. Now, with all the history behind us, let's talk about Auntie Harriet and the future of women on money in a section that I like to call White Promises. And just for clarification, White Promises are anything that white people have promised, but not delivered. Notable examples include 40 acres and a mule, the wall, and my personal and all time favorite, equality. So on April 20th, 2016, under the Obama administration, Treasury Secretary Jack Lew announced that for the first time in over a century, a woman's face would grace the front of US paper money. And that woman is going to be Miss Harriet Tubman. 
The idea to place Tubman on the $20 bill came from an 11 year old girl from Boston named Sophia. And according to blackamericaweb.com, Sophia wrote to President Obama in 2014, wondering why there weren't any women on the US money. She is quoted as saying, if there were no women, there would be no men. She gave a list of possible female candidates and no surprise, Auntie Harriet was on that list. The Obama administration took that suggestion and said a design concept would be unveiled by 2020. And this was to coincide with the centennial of the 19th Amendment, which gave women, white women, the right to vote. And if you wonder why I keep pointing that out, it's because black American women were among the last group of people to be given the right to cast a ballot. White women only got the 19th Amendment passed by distancing themselves from black women to ensure the support of white male lawmakers. According to Time Magazine, Jarena Lee and Maria Stewart were the first black women to formally write about the dual grievances of sexism and racism. And they were the first to make a claim for black women to have equal footing in socio-political affairs. Flashing forward to 2016, a key event took place that changed the trajectory of Auntie Harriet being put on the dub, Donald J. Trump. While on the campaign trail in April 2016, then president-elect Trump, no stranger to crushing the dreams of 11-year-old children, said to NBC News, well, Andrew Jackson has a great history. And I think it's very rough when you take somebody off the bill. I think Harriet Tubman is fantastic, but I would love to leave Andrew Jackson or see if we can come up with another denomination. Also, ironically enough, there have been calls from black Americans that agree with Trump on Auntie Harriet not being on the money at all. They say that the idea of a formerly enslaved woman being emblazoned on the bills used to buy and sell her and others like her is deplorable. What do y'all think? Is putting her on our money a slap in the face to her legacy or is it an honor? Needless to say, Trump and Secretary Jack Munich, 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 sorry to this man, announced that the project would be delayed until at least 2026. Another reason it's taken so damn long is due to the extremely intricate and detailed security measures put into place for paper currency. The last time any of our paper money has seen a change was the blue face, no Krishan, $100 bill that came out in 2013. An employee with the Treasury Department told thegrill.com that the primary reason currency is redesigned is for security against counterfeiting. The redesigned timeline is driven by security feature development and the sequence for the denominations is driven by current and potential security threats. A spokesperson from the Advanced Security Deterrence Division was quoted as saying, public education is also a major factor with the introduction of new face money. People don't typically question the integrity of a quarter because the look and feel of it are consistent and familiar. However, the redesign of a bill and its new features must be introduced to vendors, banks, and others so that they are aware of the authentication and security features of the new note. Public education takes place domestically and internationally to ensure that when the United States dollar is used anywhere, there is assurance that it is the real McCoy. Every dollar bill is set to change in design by 2034, but each bill has a different projected year of release. The $10 bill in 2026, the 5 in 2028, the 20 and 2030, and the 50 in 2032, with the last bill being the $100 bill in 2034. All of that being said, descendants of Tubman are calling BS. Michelle Jones Galvin, the great, great, great grandniece of Miss Tubman said on an interview with New York One, our thought is, if in fact you can send a man to the moon and you can do all kinds of things, we should have the technical ability and the technical expertise to do what needs to be done. And lawmakers agree. If we can put a helicopter on Mars, we ought to be able to design a $20 bill in less than 20 years. It's all about commitment. And even Republican, yeah, you heard that right, Republican. John Katko out of New York's 24th Congressional District in Syracuse, New York told Spectrum News, if they wanna get it done sooner, they can. They just need to prioritize it. John pushed the treasury in July for an updated timeline, but told Spectrum that he hasn't heard back anything from his request. Auntie Harriet isn't the only black woman slated to be on American money. Thanks to the American Women Quarters Program, a four-year program that celebrates the accomplishments and contributions made by women of the United States, Bessie Coleman, the first black and indigenous woman to pilot an airplane, is slated for 2023. As well as Celia Cruz, the undisputed Afro-Latina queen of salsa, she's slated for 2024. And another fun fact, Booker T. Washington is the first ever black person to be put on American money in 1946 on the silver half dollar. 
and Maya Angelou would be the first black woman and second ever woman of color to grace American money in 2022 due to the earlier mentioned American Women Quarters program. What do you guys think? Will we ever get to see Auntie Harriet on the $20 bill? Should she even be on the bill considering the history of money and slavery in the United States? Or is hoping for the first black woman ever to be put on paper money a dub? Get it? Dub? Cause that's what black people call the 20, yeah, you know, bars. <laughs> Try. Stay up to date with the latest news of comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel and follow Comedy Hype across all social media platforms. And look out for original content on our new streaming service, Hype Plus. For Hype Plus, I'm Jay Carrington, aka JC. You guys be easy. Peace.